So today we're gonna to go into cycling. We're gonna go over a number of different muscles and we're gonna be looking at those structures that need to be released so we can get increased performance and stop injuries from actually occurring. Mickey, we're gonna start with your quadriceps here. I'm gonna get you to bring your leg down inside. Okay, we're gonna I think you mentioned you've been doing some martial arts stuff lately. Are you mm -hmm. okay with me working on the side over here? Yes. Couple okay. Bruises, but we're good. <laughs> You're good? Okay. All right. So let's just get on there. Let's bring this back. Grab the leg. Good. Not too bad there? Oh, that's good. Good. All right. So if you are, if we're looking at the downstroke, there we go. All right. Cross. We'd be looking at, if we had a problem with the quadriceps, then we'd have difficulty in extending the knee fully. You get decreased power output and basically just a less efficient uh, pedal stroke. Slower cycling speed. Are you okay there? Mm -hmm. Okay. This seems too easy. <laughs> <laughs> turn, your, turn your heel in. There okay. we go. Doing okay there? Oh, yeah. So when I put internal rotation, yeah, that actually more. changes that a bit. All right. I'm going to get you to actually lie on your side facing over the place. So it's more on the rectus femoris there. Again, I'm gonna get you to actually extend the leg a little bit there. Okay, feel that one quite a bit more? Yes. All right. So we wanna get on the vastus lateralis here. Work our way around a bit. Okay, I'm gonna take it a little bit into extension and then start moving it a little bit into circumduction. Okay, so let's just go here. If I take it out here, you feel that. It's, yeah. As soon as I start bringing oh. in circumduction, that changes everything. Yeah. So this is a way of actually tapping into the fascia a little bit easier. Good. Now I'm going to get you to actually turn towards me, please. Okay. All right. Bring this up here. Bring this back here. So obviously if I got more, in, I'd be getting on the adductors here. But if I want to get a little towards the medial quadriceps, I could go across here, take this out and extend it out there. Okay, how's that feeling? Pretty tender. Pretty tender. Anytime we get on the quadriceps, we also have to consider that as we get closer to the knee, we're gonna be working on the, the VMO. You okay there? Such an easy way to access the VMO though. Take it here and just move a little bit of slight rotation there. I mean, these minor nuances make all the difference in the world. Just uh, be careful as a practitioner doing this move though, because you could get kicked. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. You doing okay? Yeah. All right. I'm going to get you to uh, just go a little more on your side here. And I'm going to bring this down a little bit. We're going to get on the glute now. Okay. So specifically more towards the glute max. Just work through this area here. Right. So individuals have a restriction in the glute max, they're gonna have a problem with hip extension. They're gonna have a decreased ability to push basically the pedal down during cycle, lean forcefully, and they'll get a decrease in overall power. The problem is when you have a problem here, you're also gonna get numerous compensation problems. You know, you get changes in movement patterns. Uh, you have, basically have an over reliance on other muscles which can lead to further imbalances and potential injuries. You okay? Yeah. Okay, once again, let's get it on and bring this into circumduction. Okay, so a lot of times we could be using our hands, our fingers, our thumbs. I could be using my forearm here and I could be taking it in linear fashion, but as soon as I start bringing it into circumduction, that makes all the difference. This is a way of actually tapping into the fascia. And if we look at the structure of fascia, and it's tetrahedral geometry, we will see that we actually have to approach fascia from multiple directions. And using circumduction is an excellent way of doing that. Doing okay there? Yes. Tender. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get you to go face down, please. Now, for demonstration purposes, I'm only doing one side of the body, and obviously I'd be doing both sides if we were actually working on a cyclist improving performance and preventing injuries. 
Doing okay there, Mickey? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> right down. So once again, we start out just getting on the surface here. Then if we want to get in there a little bit more, we'll start using a little bit of rotation. So if you've got a restriction in the calf muscles, you're going to have a problem with plantar flexion of the foot. Basically a decreased ability to push off. And again, this greatly affects cycling speed and efficiency. Doing okay? Yep. Okay, I want you to come up onto your knees, please. Okay, all the way up. So if we look under underneath the gastroc and soleus, we're gonna have the deep flexors, Tom, Dick, and Harry here. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. So on the outside here, flexor helicus longus, we got the tibialis posterior and the flexor digitorum longus. Feeling that quite a bit? Yes. Okay, I just wanna take it like this though. Okay. Now what is the difference here? As compared to as soon as oh, I put rotation in. Goodness, you can just feel the different vectors. Yeah. It's so much deeper. Huge difference. Okay, so Mickey, I'm gonna get you to lie on your back, please. So now I'm gonna get on the hamstrings. Okay. You okay? Yeah. Okay, we'll just get on here in general. So if you've got a restriction with the hamstrings, you might have what could be diff difficulty flexing the knee. Now, well, now we're talking, we're starting to get into the upstroke region. And if we're looking at a dysfunction of either, well, we're gonna hamstrings now, but we'll get in the hip flexors, we'd have difficulty with the hamstrings with flexing the knee. Crucial for pulling the pedals up after the downstroke. And if we have a problem here, we're just gonna notice a uh, basically less smooth, less efficient pedal stroke, potentially affecting the overall rhythm and speed of cycling. You okay? Yeah. Okay, now, so again, a little bit of circumduction. Okay, and it's interesting too, because this, I don't really notice, it's harder to delineate, you know, the semimembranosis from the semitendinosis and biceps femoris until I start doing circumduction. And as soon as I start doing that, I can feel the difference. You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna actually get you to lie on your side, facing over. So now we're gonna get on the hip flexors. Are you okay with me getting in here, working yeah. there? Now, once again, you're gonna take this leg back. Mm -hmm. Exactly, I'm gonna bring that back at the same time there. So I'm just gonna stabilize the back lower lumbar spine with my leg here. And then I'm just gonna get in, you okay? Yep. Yeah. There, all right. So we're getting in primary hip flexors, the osoas. Okay, take the leg back, right back, good. Doing okay? Yeah. So, obviously if we have a problem with the iliopsoas, a restriction, we're gonna have difficulty with hip flexion, less efficient pedal stroke, slower cycling speeds, and again, numerous compensations, changes in movement patterns. Okay. And this will actually lead to overuse of the uh, low back muscles, so the paraspinal, the spinae. You okay? Yes. Okay, bring it forward. Let's do this one more way. Take this from here. You okay? Yeah. So not pushing too deep here. Now bring it back. Okay. Oh. That's a huge difference, isn't it? Oh man. So the first one was just to warm up a little bit, but this is this is the real one. Back. And again. And back, good. So like I mentioned, we would actually work on both sides, but this can make a huge difference in the cycling performance of an individual, and it does help to prevent numerous conditions. So there's a blog I wrote related to this. So you can actually go through and I'll give you more specifics and you know, give you more details on it and actually some references to and citations explaining you know, how we actually came to the conclusions we have. So check it out.